Let's talk about our project, a movie called The Perfect Match, which has a fantastic script. Just imagine a, a romantic comedy that's written in the style of a 1970s Walt Disney movie, but with brilliant touches of today's rom-com. And I do believe that I'm very qualified to tell you it's a fantastic script because, because I wrote it. Uh, the plot moves very quickly through a series of unexpected twists and turns and it leads up to a very surprising uh, ending. But I'm not going to reveal any more of its delights now so that you can discover all of its secrets by yourselves as you sit there and enjoy the movie. But there's one unprecedented and long overdue aspect to this project an addition that we are very passionate and proud of. Now, it, it, it's destined to make a very good impression on the young people who will come and see this film. I have been in show business for a very long time. I started as a youngster, and I've been in this business ever since. But when I started, I was not just aware of the young stars from my age group, no, the people in my day, we were also aware of the wonderful entertainers of the recent past or the distant past. And we were entertained and enthralled by them as well as the ones in the present. Well, that's all gone now. It's just disappeared. It's true that many of the great stars of yesteryear are gone, but not all of them are gone. Many of them are still alive and still very anxious to work and to share their, their experience and their magic and all the marvelous things that they have within them. But uh, the studios today, the industry today has no use for them. They're too old and unnecessary. And it's too bad because uh, the young people don't know what they're missing. I, I work today with a lot of the young stars and uh, singers, for example, I'm amazed. They, they don't know anything about the past. I, I've met so many of them who never even heard of Frank Sinatra. That's true. And the dancers, never heard of Fred Astaire and so forth. It's, it's an endless list. But uh, our movie is going to be a chance to change all of that. Our script has many, many parts for the older stars who are still around and willing to work. And we're going to give them that one last shot at being up there on the big screen. And I think it might make a big change for the young people's tastes. They might really start to get an inkling about what they've been missing. And when that happens, I think all of us should be very proud and uh, passionate. Now, I'm Marty Brill. And I say thank you for this interview, and I wish you every good wish from me and from all the rest of our Perfect Match game.